Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial. I am Nazmul Islam from Classy Devs. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to remove the footer text from the default. When we have installed the Presto Shop, this default e commerce software by Presto Shop text is appeared. So now we will show you how to change it or how to remove this text from here or we can add our custom text here so let's get started we can change the copyright text from the back office and we also can change the copyright text from the hosting now we are going to change the footer text copyright text from the back office so here you can see the improve section just click on the international Click on translations. Now you can see the modify translation. We are going to modify the translation of our front office. We are now working on the back office that is the admin access and we will change the footer change in the front office. So just select the types of translation here you can see the front of this translation select on that now we are going to use the default theme so we, we need not need to change these things just it is selected and we have the language so click on that and our default language is english so if you add the multiple language then you can see the language list here so we are using the default language english so click on that and then click on the modify button in search translation field just write the copyright here and tick the search button here you can see the shop theme global and the text is here e-commerce software by Presta shop here is the copyright and added the percentage before the copyright text and after the copyright text as well as year before the percentage and after the percentage of the year so what does it mean it means that uh, you can see here copyright symbol is for the percentage before the percentage copyright text and after the copyright text percentage so it is one kind of expression that is understood by the presta shop it's a globally set so by this field automatically it takes the year and the copyright symbol and also the presta shop game presta shop this text is also taken from this so here we can do that just change this thing like uh, we have just uh, cut the e-commerce and click on the save button yes it is successfully updated so just check now let's see yes our text is also updated but if we want to change the copyright then it may be make some problem here just uh, we have just removed the copyright and click on save so uh, copyright symbol will not remove from here so for this we have to edit these things from the hosting so let's see how can we remove this kind of things or how can we customize in our own way from the hosting. So we have logged in to our hosting and we are using the cPanel. Now here we have to click the file manager and we have to go the our PrestaShop installed root folder. This is the Presta theme smart. So here you can see the theme. Just click on the theme and we are using the classic theme. So click on that. 
now here you can see the template click on that and here you can see the partial click on that and here you can see the footer.tpl so our text is now in the footer side so we are going to edit this tpl text so just click on the edit and again click on the edit now you can see the code here this is the same thing we have seen already the back copies the copyright er e-commerce software web the shop so here you can change your text by your own way here is also the anchor text here that is if someone click on that link or anchor text then it will refer to this link so we can also change this link and we also can change this kind of thing so let's do it suppose i want to change the e-commerce software by classy devs and click to save change now let's see it is changing or not so here you can see e-commerce software by classy devs so it has carrying a link you can see if we click that link then it will take us the another link that is the pressershop.com here we just change the link we have just put here classytips.com our site link just click on the save and uh, just refresh button click now we can see that e-commerce software by classytips and we are accessing to our site which means it is changing so if it is not changed then you have to clear the cache and to clear the cache you have to go the advanced parameter just uh, click on the performance and you have to clear the cache from here and you have also uh, disable or switch no to the cache field it was yes but i have just uh, check it no and in the cache use cache just set no so by this way you can see the update so sometimes uh, it just uh, catch the cache so this is why uh, sometimes uh, you cannot see the change uh, if you want you can also change the copyright symbol or er so this kind of thing you can change and uh, you also can add in your own way so we are now going to check it is working or not so let's see ah, it is sometimes it is making problem for the cache okay so just let's uh, clear the cache okay all cache is cleared successfully now let's see it is changing or not yes uh, it has been changed so this is why i told you that sometimes uh, you cannot see the change because of the cache so make sure you are clearing the cache for testing or you can use the incognito mode from the chrome so control shift in from the windows so you can use this uh, incognito mode so you can see without cache uh, this is all about our tutorial if you like this tutorial please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you